Hi, I'm Christy from Adventures at iSTEM, and I'm here with a quick two-minute tip to help you transition from classroom learning to distance learning. In this Schoology tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to share your amazing resources and lessons that you have in your Google Drive with your students in Schoology. Now, this one is for those students that do have a Google Drive account also. If your students do not have a Google Drive account, I made a different video on that, which then has the students working with PowerPoint and converting your Google Slide resources into PowerPoint. If you have the ability to use Google Classroom along with Schoology, if you can make Google Classrooms, I highly recommend going that route. That's what I do. I just share it with my students in Google Classroom and I just give them an assignment on Schoology that says go to Google Classroom and fill it out. However, if you don't have that option, follow with me and I'll take you through what you can do. So the first thing you're going to do if you are going to be sharing your Google Drive resources is that you need to go to resources, you need to go to apps, and you need to make sure that you install the Google Drive app to your Schoology and allow access. So that way all your Google Drive resources are there. Once you've done that, then you can go to your courses and you can get it ready. Now you'll notice here I have quarter one, two, and three. Two and three, they're kind of grayed out a little bit. Um, they're unpublished. For me, I like to set everything up in the very beginning, get all of my folders set, ready to go, all the assignments ready to go. And that way, when I'm ready to go ahead and do it, I can just publish it so my students can see it. So here we're going to do add materials and we're going to add an assignment. And now that I've had added my Google Drive, I can come here and here's my Google Drive resource app and I'll just search scientific method. Okay, so now you've got a couple options here. Import link, import private link, import embed. You're going to want to do import link. So that's what you're going to want to do, import link. And you're going to give different directions. Okay, you always need to give students directions on what to do. So for this one, they're going to open the link. They're going to now have to make their own copy of the entire slide. Then they're going to follow the directions on it and complete the digital notebook. Finally, they're going to attach it and turn it in. So there it is got the link and here's what the students will see. So they have their assignment on the right. They follow the directions. They're going to click on it. And right now it should be view only. Make sure that you have the settings to view only. And when you have the view only, they're going to come in here to file. They're going to make a copy of the entire presentation. Here's where they can add their name. This is their copy. They can get rid of the word copy if they want to, but they can now drag and drop and fill it in. They can type in the text boxes. They will go to submit assignment. Now here's the thing. They also need to, in their resources, also attach their Google Drive. So they need to go to their apps, make sure their Google Drive is attached there. They click on the one they're gonna attach, they're gonna import it, and there it is. Here it is, and you just click on it and you can easily go through it and grade it. So that's how you share your Google Drive resources to your students if they also have Google Drive, making sure that you give clear directions of what to do and making sure that they also go to resources and get, download the app so that way they attach their own Google Drive to it. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.